Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is in or welcome back. Uh, this is Ancestral Owl Messages for the full moon read for the collective sign of Virgo. Now keep in mind, it is for the full moon for today, but that energy still resonates for three days after the actual full moon. So I wanted to include the last four signs knowing that that energy will still be there for an additional three days before, three days after. So let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Virgo. For this, their full moon read. For December 29th, 2020, or whenever they're led to this message. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. One more shuffle. All right. Second attempt at this. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Two new moon. Two new moons here. Three. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Three new moons. Wow. This is why I had to do this read over again. Okay, here we go. Take time to breathe out, work through your fears. Luck is on your side, your hard work is paying off. The new moon. I was born under a new moon. I'm fascinated with the entire new moon cycle. The new moon is, and anyone born under the new moon is creative, and even creative thinkers, very artistic. Yes, honey, I'll be right there. High Priestess, Harness, Mystic Power, Hermit, Retreat and Recharge, Night. Be brave and honest. And see her. See beyond the current situation. This looks like for whichever Virgo or how many ever Virgos this is for. And you can have Virgo anywhere in your chart. This looks like already, even before, before pulling the Angel Tarot, this looks like someone that's going through an ascension. Gifts are opening up to you. Because if you look, and I'll, I'll give a visual indication of this. The only one of these four of the Angels, Ancestors, Oracle card deck from Kyle Gray, the only one who has... I believe her eye, yeah, her eyes are open and she is facing toward the other three cards. Look at each one of them. Eyes closed, head down, or head, yeah, eyes closed. Meditating. Eyes closed. Contemplating. Eyes closed or covered where you can't see and able to see spiritual sight meditation contemplation and spiritual sight this is a new ascension this is uh, another whole level of awakening that's why the three new moons are there three is a divine number the new moon too when it comes to the new moon, 
I always see it as, and I I love looking at it like this, in the metaphor, metaphorically. I see the new moon as, because um, the moon is divine feminine, sun is divine masculine, the new moon is the night where they get away from the kids, and this is their night together. This is when both heavenly forces are joined. There's something really powerful about this. Harness mystic power and it's going this way. <coughs> this is a beautiful read already even before I pulled the tarot. Okay, five cards off the top, five cards off the bottom. Five of Wands. Hey, yeah. God listening in concealment, politics, and, and ambition wins judgments and protects all those who seek the truth. Death card, Mumaya. God, the end of the universe, endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. Eight of Wands. Vehula, Vehul, the great and exalted God. Grandeur makes one passionate toward God. Ace of Wands, Omiel, the patient God. Fertility and multiplicity protects against despair, helps one be patient. You have a lot of wands here. There was a lot of conversation. There's a lot of conversation. Knight of Wands. Hi Hu Wai. Hi Hu Waiya. God the good in himself. Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes. Saves exiles. Yeah, there is a lot of words spoken here. A lot of words. A lot of fire, a lot of passion. The world. Damabaya, God, the source of wisdom. Fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures. Four of Pentacles. God liberating Israel. God liberating the oppressed. Self atonement cures mental illness. Deliverance from persecution. And Three of Swords, Rahel, the quickly forgiven God, love and submission, cures illness, influences paternal love, gives long life. One more off the bottom, the Empress, Mahiel, God the Father, the generous, fertility, fruitfulness, assures peace between married couples. I said, the Empress is the mother of the tarot. That's that divine feminine energy. And two of wands, J. Lyell, the helping God, love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. Yet yeah, there's a lot of words spoken here. This is very passionate. Yeah, okay, let's go through each of these. Five of Wands is arguing that's fighting to win at all costs. Use your words to do it. And then you have the Death card. And that is endings. That is new beginnings. Then here's the Eight of Wands. More argument. And then Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is that it's positive. It's a new beginning. Eight of Wands is defending yourself with that new beginning. And the Knight of Wands. That is that 
rescuing, knowing exactly what to say. After this new beginning, I mean, yeah something ended here completely ended with an explosive argument then you felt almost like you had to defend yourself you had a new beginning and this knight of wands is really that knight of shining armor that's that um, fiery passionate energy of really protecting what you were it's like putting guards out in your spiritual it look at your spiritual life your spiritual inner self as a piece of land property you have castle on it knight of wands is it's those guards set out to protect it because as soon as you reach that new beginning you were like, yeah, this other thing is gone, and it's not jeopardizing it. Then you go over here. The world open up to you. This was a relationship that ended. And as soon as you had the new beginning and put those boundaries up, the world became different. Four of Pentacles is withholding. That's holding back. Three of Swords. That's that heartbreak and disappointment. You're withholding something because of this past heartbreak and disappointment. But the female in your life, this could be mother. It could be sister, friend, it's a divine feminine, it's a, it's a motherly figure in your life, is making you look at things differently. That two of wands, she's giving you something to think about. Because you're really withholding because of past heartbreak. There's something you're holding back and that mother figure is really just like has given you food, food for thought basically now this ending could have been job could have been a uh, spiritual belief system it could have been even a church even or it could have been relationship family relationship could have been romantic relationship Whatever ended here, you put up high walls and the world looked different and really opened up for you. But you were, you're still holding back because you're holding on to the heartbreak. Listen to that motherly figure in your life and that food for thought. Almost giving you, yeah, giving you something to think about because she has said something to you that's really giving you something to think about. Because there is, this is creativity, the three new moons. It is also a new beginning, those three. Three is a divine number, it's number of divinity. That is God, us, the angels, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the three is a very spiritual number. This is why for the angels and ancestors, you see the high priestess facing this way and all three figures facing down meditation, contemplation, and spiritual sight. And this empress, for some, this could even be symbolic of intuition because it's that divine feminine energy especially with this full moon the moon is the divine feminine it, it is that feminine energy 
This could be intuition and really getting new perspective, that food for thought coming with this full moon. But there is a new direction, new way of thinking just about past hurt and withholding and really holding back from who was in your life and what is in your life right now and holding back from them. But it's a new way, basically a new perception of that. I'm just curious. Yep. Now I went to pull one. I pulled two by accident because I was looking for the hangman as soon as I said new perspective. The second one, top one, was Six of Cups. Celia, God who stirs all men, motivation, lifts, lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. That Six of Cups is being in that present moment. But the one, yeah, this is, this was hidden behind the hangman and I was expecting to grab the hangman. And here it is. The hangman. Nelkiel, the only god, desire for knowledge, protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. This is seeing things from a new perspective. Being in the present moment, that meditation and that contemplation and seeing things from that new perspective. This is the gift that you're going to receive on and even gradually over the next three new moons. But releasing this, and this is a gift now, and it's just going to keep building because there's going to be new things revealed to you. That new seeing things differently, because if you looked at, if you look at the hangman card, 21, that's two plus one is three. And there's that three again. Three, three, three. You're getting the answers of questions that you haven't asked anyone else. Because nobody could an answer them anyway. Only the divine could answer them and you are getting those answers. You will be getting those answers. Be in the present moment and really tap into that meditation, contemplation, and really see what is opening up for you. When you get those answers, there's going to be a whole another level of sight that you receive. It's like, it's a gift with it because of that, the three new moons, three, and then that three. The divine is wanting to explain something to you. Okay, I'm going to pull a few Enchanted Blossoms cards as a blessing for this full moon. And I love that this full moon is called the Full Oak Moon. I've been studying about the trees and the oak. It's very powerful. And this is, trust me, this full moon, if you guys aren't feeling it, I'm feeling it. That energy is really going to stretch over. It. I felt it three days before, and it's going to stretch for the next three days. This is a wonderfully powerful full moon, and I'm glad we're finishing the year with it. Okay. Faith. Passion flower. Golf fritillary. You see that butterfly? It's a dragon. It's beautiful. Endurance, cactus, pipe vine, swallowtail. Magnificence, bird of paradise, common mother of pearl. And pride, amaryllis. Gaudy Commodore. Okay, first of all, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith that you will, you are getting these answers. You are. 
you've had endurance, but just be in this moment. I love this magnificence card. The beauty of life and the joy of every moment. This is being in the present moment. Meditation, contemplation, spiritual sight. But take pride in how far you've come. All right, for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your full moon read, December 29th, 2020. And remember, I know it's being released on the 29th, a little late. But the reason I made sure I got the rest of the signs, um, the videos, the full moon videos for each of the signs, that energy still carries on for the next three days. So for the collective sign of Virgo, love and light.